Hi, I'm Jody Elliott. I'm one of the owners of Engage Pickleball. And I'm Jana Spano. I'm a very average pickleball player, but I'm a great partner. And today for Pickleball Tips, we're going to talk about how you can be a great partner. You know, Jody, I hear so many people talking about like how to find a good partner and, oh, I want a better partner. But a lot of times I think in order to get a good partner, you need to be a good partner. I agree. Okay. So today I'm going to like talk like Jody and I don't get a chance to play very often. So if you just have a minute or two to get used to somebody before you go out on a court, whether it's a rec game or a tournament, here are some of the things I like to ask. So first thing I usually ask my partner is which side are you going to do the most damage on? Like which side are you going to be better on, Jody? Which, which side should we put you on? Well, if you were my partner, Jenna, I love your forehand. Okay. So I would want you on the uh, odd side. Okay. So And I'm fine on either side, but right. where I want to use your awesome forehand, I would rather stack and put you right on that side, right from the beginning. Okay, good. Well, then that's good. That's good. Now we're set up to win, right? Right. Okay. The next thing I like to find out is to ask my partner, do you run for your lobs? Like, do you run backwards to take your lobs or do you want me to run across and take your lobs? That's an excellent question because there's so much confusion on that and there really doesn't have to be. Um, we're both righties, yeah. so that makes it a little easier. Um, when I'm on the odd side, I know that I'm going to get my short lob and you're going to get your short lob. But being a righty on the odd side, I am supposed to uh, go back for both the deep lobs because okay. it's my forehand. All right. Well, that's so, good to know because everybody does it differently. Yes. Right. So you run on, you kind of sidestep on the back of the court, you know, so you can use your forehand. And when I go behind you, I've got my forehand. That here. sounds great. We don't want to see you crossing over with your backhand because that's not your best shot. Okay. And then I always like to ask partners, like, what do you feel are your best shots so that I can help set up? You know, some people really like their backhand or they like their forehand or they just love their overhead. So I always ask my partner, what, what shots do you really like? How can I? My favorite shots are when, when my partner and myself hit people's feet. I see oh. a lot of balls in people's uh, wheelhouses and they're hitting hard right back. Okay. So if your paddle is down here, it's not as threatening if my opponent's partner's up here. All right. So if we can do what we can, whether it's a hard shot or a soft shot, get, get that ball feet. down at their feet. All right. And then do you have any like pet peeves when you're playing with a partner? Like you can't stand a partner that maybe doesn't call the score loud or if there's any, because again, I want to be a good partner to you today. So right. if um, you had any pet peeves, I would like to ask her, you know, what those are. Some <laughs> people don't have any, but. Okay. We won't name this, but my husband. No. <laughs> <laughs> He, Robert uh, Elliott. No. <laughs> he and I play really well together, mm -hmm. but there was a time where I could find that he was like, t if I hit the ball in the net, he'd go, <sighs> oh. and I could hear that. And mm -hmm. so be, we have a good marriage. So right. I said, hey, honey, what's, got, what's up with that exhale? And he said, <laughs> he goes, seriously, I was not doing it for that. He goes, I was just kind of like holding my breath and then I just let it go. And uh -huh. I, since we have a good marriage, I'm going to go with that. Uh -huh. But seriously, stuff like that, you don't even realize that you're doing and no. people take it the wrong way. Body language, so right? So talk to your partner because they yeah. might not even know they're doing it. And he right. honestly hasn't done it since. So. Yeah. You know, guys, eye rolls. Uh, body language, it's the same thing. Your partner never means to hit that ball in the net. They really didn't want to do that. So it's like encouragement. I don't know if you know, but I was a wedding minister and I've married 4,000 couples. So I'm really into relationships and communication. And um, I feel like however you are in your relationships is how you're going to be on the pickleball court. So support your partner. I promise they'll play better for you. And then lastly, I always tell a partner if, if, if a ball's out, and um, I call it out and you saw it in, just override me. You know, just do it in a gentle way where it's like, oh, it might have been in, I'm not sure, but I can't say 100%. And so I would never want to get a point. But, but this is important because partners feel differently, like you should never override me if I make an out call. Or it's just important to know and be on the same page. That's true, I agree. And <laughs> then uh, lots of, Jody, when we're at the net, I'm going to do lots of yours, mine, yours, mine, yours, mine, right? That's fine with Because me. we don't play together a lot, so I don't want to hit paddles, so I think calling a lot of shots, yours, mine. And, and you, you know when uh, return a serve, I like to stand at the tee because it makes the box a little smaller okay. for that server. But I need to ask my partner, does this bother you? Most people say, no, that's all right, I don't mind that. But some people are like, you're crowding me, I can't feel comfortable with my return. So I just kind of move you know, to the side and I say, how's this? Actually, one time they said a little more. I'm like, okay. Okay. So, but if that's what they want, I want to make my partner happy and right. comfortable. Comfortable, because right. Because we're here to have a good time. Making them comfortable. So again, to recap, all about being a good partner is, you know, being a good partner, not having a good partner, but working on being a good partner. 
I hope you liked today's tip. So feel free to subscribe and so there you go. That's part one. Hope to see you again and have fun out there on the pickleball courts. Bye. I know we do. <laughs>